So it's time to explain the Game 1 class that XNA Game Studio created for us. It inherits from Microsoft.xna.framework.game, which is the base class for all of our games. It has two fields, one of type Graphics Device Manager and one of type Sprite Batch. The Graphics Device Manager manages the configuration of the graphics card. The Sprite Batch enables us to draw 2D graphics. In the constructor, we will create a new graphics device manager. The constructor has one argument being the game. In this case, that's game1, so this. We will also specify a root directory for our content. In this case, it will just be content. In the initialize, you can create all of your content. The initialize is only called once at the start of the game. The initialize is meant for initializing non-graphics related content. Another method is the load content. The load content is also called once at the start of the game. It already has some code being the creation of our sprite batch. We can use the load content to load all our assets, being 2D assets, 3D assets or sound. There's also a method called unload content. Like the name suggests, we can use it to unload our content. It is called once per game when you exit. In the real life, we won't be using this method that much. In the update, you will calculate all your game logic. For instance, if you want your player to move, you will calculate the new position of the player each frame in the update method. It has one argument of type game time. The game time holds the total game time, being the total amount of time the game has been running along with the elapsed time since the last update call. The update already contains some code to exit the game. Finally, we have our draw method. It also has one argument of type game time. Note that this game time object contains the elapsed time since the last draw call. This because the frequency of draw calls is not necessarily the same as the frequency of update calls. If our game is running slow, for instance on limited hardware, it could be that the system decides to skip a draw call. In the draw method, we will draw all our graphics, being 2D graphics and 3D graphics. The first thing you'll do in the draw method is clear your graphics device. Clearing your graphics device is like wiping your slate, making sure your board is clean before you start drawing. So that's it for this section. We've installed all the tools we needed, created our first project, and explained the game class. In the next section, we'll cover 2D graphics. We'll draw sprites and move them over the screen. We'll also start creating our little framework we'll be using for our game.